What's up everybody, I am Jasperit Singh and welcome to The Minority Mindset. If somebody asked you, what's the best way to plan for your future, what would you say? Easy, get a good job, work hard at your job, and then invest in your 401k. You've probably heard money management advice like, max out your 401k contribution if you want to live a healthy retirement. Right? I mean, for the majority of people, investing is synonymous with putting money in your 401k. Like, that's what investing is. But have you ever asked yourself, is the 401k right for you? And, well, it's not a very simple answer. It depends on what your financial goals are. And the only way you can know if the 401k is a good investment for you or not is if you understand the truth about your 401k. So, in this video, let's go over five things you need to understand about your 401k. First, some brief background information. Why does your 401k even exist? Back in our grandparents' generation, people were handed retirements through company paid pensions. If you worked hard at your job for long enough, your company would reward you by paying for you to retire and then they would pay you every single month while you're in retirement until you died. This was great for employees because you were guaranteed to get paid, assuming your company didn't go bankrupt. But this was bad news for your boss. Your employer was on the hook for your employment and that cost was a huge question mark on their financial books. Your company couldn't predict what the economy was gonna look like when it was time for you to retire, your company didn't know what their expenses were going to be like or what their company was going to look like in 10 or 20 or 30 years, and they didn't know how long you were going to live. They didn't know how long they'd have to keep paying for you to retire with a pension. So there was a lot of uncertainty, and nobody likes uncertainty, especially when it comes to your money. Corporations naturally wanted an alternative, so your employer met with the government and Wall Street to come up with a solution to help you retire. And they decided the best thing to do was to teach people how to fish and become self-reliant by teaching people money management and investing so you can create your own retirement. Just kidding, out came your 401k. Second, just so we're all on the same page, let's talk about the benefits of your 401k. The best thing about your 401k is you get a company match. So if you invested $500 into your 401k, your boss might give you another $250 or another $500 to invest. Investing in your 401k is easy. Your money is automatically deducted from your paycheck and you have experts managing your money. Plus, your 401k is risk-free and you get huge tax breaks. You'll see what I mean in just a minute. Third, let's talk about the cost of your 401k. Nerd Wallet did a study and they found that 92% of Americans don't have a clue of what their 401k fees are. Wait, 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 what do you mean? Does my 401k cost me money? Let me put it this way. In 2015, Wall Street money managers paid $17 billion in 401k hidden fees. Oh, and uh, those are just hidden fees. That $17 billion figure, it doesn't include out in the open fees. To put it in perspective, the average American earning a median salary, not a high income salary, but a median salary, can expect to pay around $140,000 in 401k fees over their lifetime. Holy sh**! The way it works with most funds is every single year, your money managers will take a percentage of your total assets every single year as their fee, whether or not you make money. They can afford to charge these high fees every single year because they know that when you invest your money in your 401k, it's gonna be invested for a long, 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 did I say long? Long time. And if you realize this and you were like, what, I don't want to keep paying these fees and you try to pull your money out of your 401k, that's when the government will come in and they will slap you with a huge penalty. Talk about being caught between a rock and a hard place. Fourth, the risk of your 401k. For many Americans, the 401k is their only investment and their only retirement hope and that's very risky because you have no real diversification. But Jaspreet, no, I have my money invested in different funds. I'm good, right? That's what a lot of people think. But let me go over what real diversification is. Investing your money in a growth fund and dividend stocks and a blue chip fund 
isn't real diversification because all of your money is in paper assets. It's only one asset class. So if you ended up retiring when the stock market is down because nothing can go up forever, then you might be in trouble. I mean, people that tried to retire during the 2008 crash found that their life investments were worth a fraction of what they invested. Real diversification is where you invest your money in different asset classes. Like one might be paper assets like I've been talking about, one might be physical real estate, and one might be physical gold. This way, if the stock market comes down, you can go and use your money in a different asset class during that time. Fifth, your tax benefits. As a licensed attorney, I have spent a lot of time studying the tax code. And one thing that is very obvious is that you get huge tax breaks for being an investor. But most of those investment tax breaks don't carry over to your 401k. You're told that when you make a contribution into your 401k, you don't have to pay taxes on that money that you contribute. That's your tax break. So if you make $50,000 from your job and you contribute $1,000 to your 401k, you don't have to pay taxes on that $1,000 and you only have to pay taxes on $49,000. Even though that's only partially true because you still have to pay FICA taxes on your $1,000 contribution. But what you need to remember is you don't get to avoid paying taxes on that $1,000. You just defer it until you're old enough to retire and you pull that money out. But just breathe. I'm not going to have any income when I'm old. So my tax rate will be lower. So I won't have to really pay any taxes, right? Well, there's a couple flaws with that and as a quick disclaimer although i am a licensed attorney i am not your attorney so you should always speak to a tax professional in your area to understand what's best for your financial situation for one that is very bad financial planning because why in the world would you plan to have no income when you're old enough to retire i mean every investor's goal is to create more income the next year so this way by the time you're old you should be planning to have a whole bunch of income when it's time for you to retire but for the sake of this video Video, let's keep going along with their example. If I had $10,000 and I learned how to invest and I took this money and I invested it in the stock market. I didn't use a 401k, I did this investment myself. And after 10 years, this $10,000 investment grew to a million dollars and I wanted to pull this million dollars out. I'm gonna have to pay taxes on this million dollars, right? But because I invested this money myself, I get investment tax breaks and I would be paying somewhere between 0% and 20% of that money in taxes. And by the way, this example is using today's tax rates. With your 401k, it's kind of different. If we had the same scenario where I took $10,000 and I invested it in my 401k, and after 10 years, I was old enough to retire and my 401k was worth a million dollars and I pulled a million dollars out of my 401k, I don't get that same tax rates. I don't get to pay zero to 20% of that money in taxes. I would have to pay way more than that in taxes because this is classified as ordinary income and I would be paying a lot more in taxes on my profits. Again, that's using today's tax rates. And now to add in another variable, there's no guarantee that tax rates are gonna stay the same. Actually, there's a very high chance that tax rates will go up in the future. If we look at this objectively, the government is drowning in debt and they are taking on more debt every single day, which means that their interest payments keep going up. And so there's a chance that they will need to increase taxes to make up for these higher interest payments. So as you can see, there's a lot more to the 401k than what meets the eye. But that's why I'm making this video. This way you can be aware and take charge of your finances and do what's best for you financially because we're never taught these things. So now if you're thinking, okay, if not my 401k, then what? Well, you have to understand money. You have to understand how your money works. You have to understand how to master your money and you have to understand how to invest your money. And if you're looking for how to learn that, we have an ebook on money management and investing that you can read for free when you sign up for a money and finance newsletter. And you can do that by clicking the link up here or by clicking the link in the description below. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed our video, hit that thumbs up button and share it with one friend so we can help spread the word. Don't miss our new videos on entrepreneurship, business, and money every Wednesday and Friday at 7.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So hit the subscribe button and the notification bell below. That way you actually find out when our new videos are released. And as always, keep hustling.